Well, today, the family of Mustafa Ayubi will hold a vigil in his memory. Police say the 32-year-old was shot and killed after a road rage incident. The prosecutors charged that 33-year-old suspect with murder. Our Colby Thielen joins us now from Monument Circle. And Colby, when and where is this taking place? It's going to be at 630 tonight, Jess, here at Christ Church Cathedral. Ayubi's family will speak alongside interfaith leaders remembering him and calling for justice. They believe that he was killed not only because of what happened out on the road, but because of his religion. Now, we've been reporting on this for nearly two weeks now. And as you may recall, his family is now calling for federal prosecutors to charge the suspect with a hate crime as well. The suspect, Dustin Passarelli, was arrested for pulling the trigger. And according to court documents, told detectives Ayubi was driving aggressively on 465 and threw something at his car. He says that he followed him home where the two got into an argument before he shot him. At least three witnesses, friends of Ayubi, say they saw it all happen and they claim that Passarelli shouted curse words and anti-Islamic slurs. Um, it was a hate crime um, and that doesn't come from me. I wasn't at the scene but from witnesses and evidence. According to court documents, Passarelli told detectives that Ayubi shouted anti-Semitic slurs at him first. And he says that Ayubi approached his car and punched the driver's side window until it cracked. That's when he says that he pulled a gun and fired five times. Two of those shots hit Ayubi in the back. Now, the Council for American Islamic Relations, along with the Muslim Alliance of Indiana, joined the family in calling on federal, for federal hate crime charges. And an FBI agent here in Indiana says that they're watching this case closely to see if it qualifies for federal civil rights violations. Lindy Jeff